if you like my video, sorry for not posting a video for a long time. I've been waiting to get the dreads, and, and now I have all of them. Here's all the dreads that I have. Crankcase, crowbar, and hatchet. You have to wait, be waiting a long time to see my next review, which is Human Alliance Soundwave. Okay. To the dreads. I saw him, uh, Mr. Tw Transformers 96. And he said that each of these guys, and somebody commented that each of these guys, guys um, uh, ha each represent a predator in Image of Predator. Very cool, as I say it. I just got Crowbar today, and he was loose. My dad bought it. My dad bid for it on eBay and it was United Ki Kingdom them, them money and he had to pay him a $3.79 is when he bid it less than that because I tell you it was United Kingdom money. So to the transformation, here's cr now to one of them, crankcase is He's the first dread I ever got. He was the only one one that was at Kmart that I found. And so let's get to his transformation. Bring the doors out like that. See? So that they are di so that they are diagonal straight. Then push that up. Pu push these right there out till they're facing inward. Split the legs. Take out the feet, each, and then do it into a squat, like chicken position, chicken like position. And then out the legs, and now just bring the chest down, and now bring the arms down, and there you have Crankcase in his robot mode. mode. I've made stealth mode for all of these guys, but I uh, added Lego guns to Crankcase and Crowbar, so eh. Hey, I want to tell you that it's also cool. I want to use, I want to show this on my video. Somebody else commented on his video that um these guns um uh, combine. As there's a peg right here, it goes there, and crankcase or crowbar can hold it. Then push and push and shoot. Autobots like that. Who's got them now? Let's just start the transformation hatchet. This is the second dread I got. I got it from eBay. My dad bought it as a buy it now. Yeah. Now, let's transform him. First take those off. And then take these and then unpeg them. And then swing them right there until they're pegged to this arm. And then take it out. And then put it down like that. Same thing, unpeg it, swing it around, peg it right there, take it out, and then put it down. Now, oh, all I want to do is sp or split the legs, legs and then take both of them down. down. For this leg, you for the left leg of hatchet, put that down, and then put the feet down. Now for this one, put it down, and put the feet foot down but then you put this down as well okay and now I'll take this tail extend it right there and now take these and then open them and that will reveal his head Just look at that menacing face rah, rah. and now put it out but then, I saw a lot of comments on Mr. Transformer 29 that you flip this out. And there, and now you put that in. Now, flip these out. Rotate them. Hey, okay. Put those up, up, and then fold it inward like human position. Swing it down. Rotate it until it's facing forward. And then bend the arm. The same thing. Get it down, rotate it, read it so it's forward, and then bend the arm, 
Now you need to get him in a standing position. Next, and then next, guns. Gatling gun goes on to the left of hatchet. I'll show it to you. They, they can transform very easily. Just flip this down, and out comes the gun. I will show it goes on the right of hatchet. And there you have hatchet and crankcase. Alright, now crowbar. He's the last one I had. He was loose, as I told you. He was in a little package. He was in a baggie. And he had United Kingdom money. But it was China post. So that's pretty weird. But the transformation. You might see me pop the leg off. Untab that. From the arm. Untab the legs. The arm. Okay, I didn't pop it off. And then, sh just push these down until they're straight, like that. See it? Do the same. And push it down until it's straight. There. And now, rotate it backwards. So it's like that. I'll show you why you need to do that. And now, split the arms. If you can. Mm. There. Now. There. Now. Push this thing down. Mm, but first lift the arms up. P then push it down. Now I'll show you how come you need to put the legs in a backward position. Then you need to rotate the waist. And there. There is crowbar in his robot mode. They all look awesome together. <laughs> yes, and I wish that Michael Bay okay, I have to explain this. If all of you don't know, the toys were made before the movie and you all said them Hasbro was too lazy to make all of the dread suburbans. Well, they were made before the movie and at the credits it said that movie we were was based on the toys. So to all you think, Hasbro was lazy, but Michael Bay was really the lazy one. So now to robot mode, as you can see, robot dreads. And to turn in his police car, he has on a blue and red mirrors on his mirror. He is very tall, tallest one. Hatchet, he looks, he looks like a, he looks so much like a jet right there. His crankcase, as you can see, he has dread in there. Yeah, so here's, here's like the spike things, and now, now that's the end of the review. Bye!